I'm here in Fulham on the banks of the River Thames, which is just out there. And then 40 meters down that pit is the new super sewer. It runs 25 kilometers along the length of the River Thames, and it should stop sewage from spilling into the river as it does at the moment 50, 60 times a year. And it should help bring back biodiversity and restore the river to something that, that we Londoners can go down and see and access. This is a monumental engineering effort. Uh, it's taken 10 years to get here. It's absolutely vast, seven meters in diameter. They've had massive tunnel boring machines for several years, churning away at the clay and the chalk under the Thames, so that eventually all the sewage that ends up in here will flow for 25 kilometers down to Beckton Sewage Works, where it'll be treated and it won't end up in the river. Once this is gone, this will all be taken away. They'll cap this off and it'll be sealed and it'll likely be that no human will go down there again for centuries. We're in uh, what we call the super sewer. Uh, we're actually just about under the river uh, at, at Hammersmith and Fulham. And we're in the, the, the main tunnel. Um, that direction is downhill. And so that's the flow of the, the sewage. What we've done is filled uh, interception points where at the moment uh, sewage is filled into the river and we, we mate up against that and capture what would have gone into the river. We get it to a shaft, similar to the one we just came down, drop it down to the bottom of the shaft, get it into this tunnel, and then the whole thing marches or flows off uh, to, to Beckton Sewage Treatment Works on the east of London, where it will get treated rather than being uh, raw, untreated sewage spilling into the river, which is what currently happens. And so if all goes to plan in, in a year and a bit, um, if someone was stood here, they won't be, but if someone was stood here, they might be under seven metres of... Uh... It could have nothing in it. It could have you know, a foot or two, but it could have seven and a half metres up to the roof um, of sewage just flowing um, reasonably sedately uh, east. And uh, we may be some of the sort of the last few people to come down here and then it'll be sealed off uh, for centuries. My guess, given that there's no more work to be done here other than strip out the lights and the cables, my guess is less than a hundred more people yeah. are ever likely to be in this space. You were saying to me earlier, this isn't just about, you know, sticking a big tunnel in the ground. You want it to mean much more to the city. Yeah. From the very beginning, we, 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 we knew the physical job we had to do. We, we had to build the tunnels and it, the interception of the sewage and yes, for sure. And that, and that was worthwhile uh, enough. Um, but we could also see that there's something else we could contribute to, which is a greater appreciation of, of the river. And we've tried to understand over, over our, our years on this project, what we can do to help people see the river in a different way, to help people appreciate that they have got a wonderful piece of nature. It's a very tidal river. It changes all the time. And, and just witnessing the, the tides is a natural thing to do. And so we, we wanted to know what we could do to help people see and, and love their, their river more than perhaps they did. Even within sort of a few months of, of this place getting up and working, you'll hope to start seeing changes in the river. You see some wildlife coming back to it. It won't look any different. It, it's a muddy estuarine river, it always will be. But what we uh, won't see is uh, the, 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 the additional pollution that happens at the moment. Uh, on occasions when it, when it rains extremely hard in London, you can see raw sewage floating on, on the river and that will be extremely unlikely, uh, not impossible, but extremely unlikely in the future. What we will see is a return of the health um, and, and the, the inhabitants of the river, if you like, returning to uh, more like uh, it was 250 years ago, which we think is the sort of the reference point. Um, so we'll see the sort of creatures that for thousands and thousands of years have, have lived on and in, in the river and that will come quite quickly. In the space of about three months, the spills, the, any sewage that has been spilled into the river will have left and gone out to sea and shouldn't happen again. So quite quickly, the, the quality of the river, the oxygen levels in the river will improve um, and then nature will, will, will do its thing.